Hello, uh, welcome to a, um, it is going to be a, a Tech Tuesday, but it's really going to be a long Tech Tuesday. Uh, we're going to go over tuning. What do you do? You just got your gun out of the box and you want to set it up and tune it. So the first thing we're going to do in a tune, and this is going to be a 30 caliber tune where we're aiming for a velocity of around, say, um, 890 and a good standard deviation. So the first thing we want to do when we get the gun is make sure that it's on and we have pressure to all the gauges. And then we want to set the high pressure to roughly, in this case, around 1350, because I know that'll be in the ballpark of the velocity we're looking for. So the first thing we're going to do is adjust, and right now it's a little on the high side, so I'm bringing it back. Okay, right there is around 1350. Once you get your velocity set to approximately where, we, or excuse me, not your velocity, your pressure on this side for a starting point, you want to come over and adjust your low pressure regulator. And here you need that low pressure to read about 180 to 190. And it's dependent on the high pressure side. That's why I adjust the high pressure first. So now we've brought that low pressure up to roughly 190 pounds per square inch. And I've got <clears throat> my high pressure around 1300. And now I'm gonna take a few shots and uh, just make sure the gun's cycling properly. All right, so now we're ready to get a velocity and find out approximately where we are on velocity. So, we turn on our chrono. Okay, and I've preloaded a mag. Let's see. Okay, we're at 900 feet per second, which is very close to where we want to be. So I took a pretty good guess at that 1350. I'm going to bring down, I don't want quite 900, I want about 890. So I'm going to come into the high pressure. At this point, the low pressure is set. And we only have two things to adjust at this point, and that is the, low, low, the high pressure for velocity. And then we'll start to move to our dwell once we get everything around the right velocity. So I am going to just move this a very little bit. And uh, it's a good idea to cycle a few times after you've changed the regulator. Just settles the regulator in. All right, now hopefully that's going to be real close. Let's see. Okay, 879. 879 twice, so just a little bit too far. I'm going to bring it, I'm, I'm increasing it by hair, just a little bit. And this first shot we won't worry about because it's resetting. 881, 884, all right, just a little bit more. You can see all that is done just with the high pressure regulator. So the real tune is pretty much the high pressure regulator. 887, that's, that is just about where I want to be. Okay, so now I'm between 887 and 890 which is the velocity that I want to shoot the AEA 45 grain through this particular gun. So now we talk about the dwell. So factory dwell setting comes at 23. Each gun, you could set up the dwell, you want to set up the dwell for each gun. Many times there's slight differences in guns and the, the best dwell can be anywhere from 17 to say 28, 29 in the 30 caliber gun. So I'm going to shut the gun off. off. I'm going to hold the button down with the action open. Powering off. Programming. Mode. Main menu. Firing mode. Moving down. Fire. Timer. To dwell. dwell. And you can That's see 20. it's 26 Four. right now. Uh, what we would do is we would set up targets at 50 yards. 
and we would I move in two milliseconds. So I would drop down to around 16 milliseconds, which I will do now. With this, you got to go all the way around. It's going to be 50, and it's going to start at 10. So there's 50 milliseconds. Now, 50 that's milliseconds. that's 16, right there. 16 milliseconds. And I'm going to power down. Powering off. Now it's at 16 saved. Powering back up. First thing I'm going to do is see if it shoots at 16. It may not. I did. Okay. So now I would set up my target to 50 yards and I would start to test these pellets. First at 16, then I would I'd shoot five shot groups, then I'd move up to 18, shoot a five shot group, 20, shoot a five shot group, and keep moving up. To about 28 and what I'm looking for is the group to just tighten up a small amount at 50 yards and that is sort of the complete tune once you've once you set the uh, high pressure where you need it for velocity your low pressure is at 180 to 190 and then you go into your dwell and you start to shoot 50 yard groups and you're looking for the tightest 50 yard group between this dwell setting of say 16 and 28 and that would complete your tune. So that's the basics on how to tune your gun right out of the box.